Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we are doing a complete review of the Brim Financial MasterCard. Just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored at all. I personally applied for and got the Brim MasterCard just about a month before we moved to New Zealand. Your options in Canada are quite limited when it comes to credit cards that do not have foreign transaction fees. This is the main reason I applied for this credit card. Now that I've had it for a few months and I've been using it consistently in New Zealand for the last three months, I'm gonna give you a full breakdown and a full review of this credit card and whether or not I recommend you even get it. So most credit cards in Canada charge a foreign transaction fee of 2.5% on top of any kind of exchange rate. And a lot of the credit cards in Canada that say that they don't have foreign transaction fees actually only waive that if you're shopping in the United States. So after doing quite a bit of research on trying to find a credit card that I could use in New Zealand for the next year or two, I ended up only finding two different options. The first was the Home Trust Preferred Visa. This credit card has no points or cash back if you're buying anything in foreign currencies, so that was a big detractor. The second option is the Brim credit card. There are a few Canadian credit cards that will outweigh the foreign transaction fee by the amount they give you in cash back or rewards. So that's something to consider if you're looking for a different credit card that might have a foreign transaction fee, but maybe the sign up bonus or the cash back rates are going to outweigh that and make it more worth it for you. Brim does have cash back and you're able to redeem those points on any transaction. That was a huge bonus because I use my credit card for practically every purchase and getting those points back means that I can put them towards future travels. So it took a month for me to get the credit card once I had applied for it. I didn't get any kind of communication from Brim on whether or not it was actually approved. So I was a little bit scared that it wasn't going to show up on time. If you are going to apply for this card, I would say that you should give yourself ample time to allow it to show up in the mail. With the rewards point system, you do get one reward point for every dollar and a thousand points equates to $10 in cash back. This isn't the best cash back rate. However, the fact that you can redeem this on any purchase is a big bonus. And I'll give you an example of how you do this. So when you're in the app, you can scroll down to each of your expenses, just swipe to the left and it'll come up with a button that says redeem. And that is how you redeem on any purchase through the mobile app. It is a little bit different on the desktop, but I know most people bank and do everything through their phones now. So that's the method that I'm gonna stick with for this video. I do think that the app is quite good. I have had a few issues with it. It has crashed a few times while I've been in New Zealand and I wasn't able to log in without a VPN for about a week. But overall, I really do like it. I like the layout, I like the way it works and I do use it on a daily basis. So I can say that I have enjoyed my experience thus far. I did also read when I was researching for this video online that you get free global Wi-Fi through a company called Boingo. I haven't used this. I didn't even know that this was included in the credit card, but if that is a bonus for you, then great. It also mentions online that they do have pretty good insurance coverage. If you're just going on a trip for like a week or two, it should cover you for any kind of like medical emergencies or travel cancellations. I've really enjoyed using this credit card so far. It's definitely one of my favorites. It is the only credit card that I have been using in New Zealand. A lot of places here are cashless and you don't really have an option between using a card or cash. You pretty much have to use a card. If you're Canadian and you're traveling anywhere across the world, this is the best option in my opinion because our options are so limited when it comes to Canadian travel credit cards. If you're not gonna use one of the ones you already have where the cash back or the points points is going to outweigh the foreign transaction fee, I would say this card is well worth it. This is a great option if you're looking to move abroad or if you're going to travel for a longer period of time. Those two and a half percent transaction fees can really add up over time. And if you're living somewhere for longer or you're moving to another country, having this as an option is amazing. If you're interested in signing up for this card, I will leave a link down below with my code 
Again, this isn't sponsored. This is just like a regular code that everyone gets who has a Brim credit card that you can share with a friend. And I would end up getting $20 in points. And then whoever signs up would end up getting $10 in points. So that's how that works. I'm gonna leave it down below in case any of you guys are interested in signing up and want that bonus. No obligation, of course. I'll also leave a link down below if you want more minute details about the credit card, such as interest rates. I always pay off my credit cards on time with the statement balance, so I never pay interest. So the interest rate doesn't really matter to me, but if it matters to you, I'll leave all that down below if you wanna research a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you decide on whether or not to get the Brim credit card and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.